Davis that used two. Second and ten. And well, look out, Garoppolo loses the ball. That's it's a, a live football, and it's picked up. Kenny Clark created it, and Campbell picks it up. Garoppolo is saying, I threw it, which he did, but he threw it backwards. And so that's a fumble. He spun around, and he threw that at the very least laterally, if not backwards. Let's take a look. Even if he yep. threw it, he threw it backwards. Rolling on the field, Green Bay ball. Garoppolo can plead his case. Terry, once again, come on in. Chris is absolutely right. He threw this backward. There was no contact by a defender, so it's the point of release from his hand and where it hits the ground, and that was clearly backward on this play. Little doubt. And no contact was made with that hand. Nothing forced him to throw it backwards other than the fact that Kenny Clark was getting ready to hit him. Wow, what a turn of events. Campbell makes a recovery, and now Green Bay has it at the 38-yard line. Forty Niners with their second turnover of the night. Rodgers back to work. He's thrown only six incompletions tonight, three of them on the last three and out. Jones squirts through that hole and picks up about 13. Ward in on the stop. First down. I tell you, these guys look like veterans out there. Josh Myers, John Runyon. Watch these two work together. But Myers is going to get that second block. You want to secure the first block, get to that second level. He does, and then picks off Fred Warner on the back end of that. Perfectly done by the Green Bay Packers offensive line. Now Rodgers can use the clock to his advantage. Jones again. Warner is there. Gain of about three. Second down. So now the 49ers are going to answer that strategy with line stunts. So they're going to move those defensive linemen across the face so they cannot get those kinds of double team angles. Expect to see San Francisco again to be on the move laterally to jump a gap. Rodgers bleeding the clock. Jones again to the 20. Big play coming up. Third down. Call it four. Third and four. Clock ticking down to three minutes. Jones gets up a little gimpy, and in fact, so gimpy, in fact, that he comes out of the game. Yeah, he hasn't quite been right tonight, has he? He's been sort of in and out. A.J. Dillon comes in. Rogers. Using all of the play clock. Three plays in a row. Third and four. Timeout. Took it down to the end. That's the last timeout for Green Bay. Hmm. Yeah, I think Rodgers saw they were bringing pressure off of his left side and just didn't feel like he had it blocked up. Too big a play. Well, that could be highly significant as we head to the finish. Of the fan We've had a few fantastic finishers already this yeah, season. We have. Tampa Bay, Dallas. Last week, of course, a classic. Baltimore, Kansas City. There's your QB comparison. Rogers, uh, the all-time leader in pass rating. He's in the triple figures. In his career, the league average around 91-92. To give you some perspective. Then, but Garoppolo's turnover the big play right now. And then next week, we don't know if we'll get a fantastic finish, but we'll get a fantastic start. <laughs> oh, we certainly will. All right, third down and four. Let's see. Are they going to show pressure again? Are they going to leave Mosley one-on-one? -on -one? 
with Adams on the outside right now it looks like it but let's see if they drop out that 10 guys along the line of scrimmage they defensively do. they drop out Rogers throws and it is incomplete and there is Mosley making the play Adams was there couldn't haul it in fourth down in comes Crosby and company D'Amico Ryans the defensive coordinator has the guts of a linebacker which he was and here we go this is just one on one you could see it coming a mile away I tell you San Francisco they don't care you know they play like the old Oakland Raiders used to they just lined up and said yeah it's man coverage take a shot 38 yard field goal Crosby hits this one with two minutes and 39 seconds. Niners have all the time they need. You get three timeouts, you got the two minute warning, six point game. And of course, a few people be flashing back to the championship game and should you go for it, not go for it, you know, is still a touchdown's going to beat you here. Huge. Huge play. They showed blitz. They brought the blitz. Everybody in the house knew exactly where the ball was going to go. And Emmanuel Mosley playing in his first game this season because of a knee injury. And Aaron Rodgers cannot believe they didn't hit that one. It's great coverage. It really was great coverage. Did you see how he trailed him? He stayed behind him so that back shoulder wouldn't work. But they were going to hit that one. They had to hit it up over the top. Never got his head around, but really didn't have to on that play. Uh, it was just good defense. It really yep. was. All right, Crosby, the kickoff. Here's Cannon, who's run back in the first half. Made this a closer game, leading to it. This time he lets it go through, and we can tell you that tonight's aerial coverage is being brought to you by Geico. All of the Niners since 2000. 14 Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. 49ers wanted to get a stadium built in the city. Couldn't do it. All of the Giants. Warriors got their playpen built, but the, the Niners had to come down here about 44 miles south to Silicon Valley. From the 25 yard line. Garoppolo. Under pressure, fires it to Samuel. That's dangerous as well. There's Campbell in on the play again. Second down and 10. You know, Al, this is what I was talking about in the opening on camera tonight. Here we go. For Jimmy Garoppolo, he has a chance to beat Aaron Rodgers. Right now, ball's in your hand. You get four downs for as long as you want it. You have all your timeouts. This is your time. Can he make it pay off? Second and ten. Sanu sets up in the slot. Four man rush. Garoppolo fires, and that's broken up, intended for Samuel. Coverage on the play by the rookie Eric Stokes. Third and ten. We're seeing some defense being played right now. Eric Stokes, who is the rookie, the top draft pick, all those things. Watch him. He's going to get right in the hip pocket here of Debo Samuel, and that is perfectly done. Get his head around, get away with a little hand contact. Pretty darn good for a rookie. See Debo, he's trying to hold him off with one hand and make a one-handed catch. Third and ten. Middle of the field. That's where they've had success so far. There he goes. Does again. Kittle. Kittle trying to break free. Kittle is inside the 40 to the 35 yard line. Chased and caught by Alexander. Third and 10. Gigantic play. 39 yards. You just have to do it. I mean, you have to let the big dog hunt out here because Kittle. Just, you know, is he a little push off? Is it legal? Is it not? What the heck? This is football. Game's on the line. And go to the guy that you trust the most. Trying to get a playoff before the two-minute warning, but they could not. Had to let the Packers get some defenders on the field, so the officials held it two minutes. They still have the three timeouts. I'll tell you what. If they, well, we can tell you among other things. What <laughs> 
We got an update right with uh, Andy Reid. Felt ill, conclusion of the game, evaluated by the medical staff in Kansas City, a statement from the team, locker room precaution, transported University of Kansas Health System for further evaluation. Doing well, currently resting in stable condition. Our, our man Andy, and we wish him all the best. We'll get him in a couple of weeks against Buffalo. You know, Chris, I started to mention, if they don't make it on a third and ten, do you go for it on fourth and ten it's at that point, or, or or do you put the hands uh, put, put it in the hands of your defense because you had all of your timeouts on the two minute warning and just hope you can stop them? I probably would have gone for it. You would have had to burn all your timeouts. You're going to get the ball back very late, and that's assuming they don't pick up one first down. Tough call. I, I'll give yeah. you that. That's a tough call. We'll never know. We will never know. But we'll now know. they are right there with a position to win the game, and you know. You know what Jimmy Garoppolo went through this offseason, right? I mean, Trey Lance and all the talk, which quarterback are they going to take? And he was disposable, and nobody thought that he would be any sort of a real factor in what they did long term. And yet here he is in this moment with this football team yep. with a chance to do something really special, and that is come back from behind when Aaron Rodgers had the big lead. I'm trying to beat that guy who's successor is already in waiting in Jordan Love. So both these guys followed legends and now they're kind of like in a position where the new guy in town may take over at some point sooner than later. Who knows. First things first. Ball at the 36 yard line. Rush four. Oh, the middle into traffic. Ooh, dangerous. Samuel is there. Savage covering on the play. The appropriately named one. Second down at 10. Yeah, but that's one you put in the back of your mind right now. That safety is going to come down and play that crossing route that hard. That means there's going to be opportunities in behind him. I'm not so sure I wouldn't call the same play with some extra route that says, you want to be that aggressive? Let's see how we can take advantage of it. Garoppolo to the outside, Errant. Dean Lowry forced that issue. Good rush. Here we are again on the third and ten. Now this is the old pick tough play here. Dean Lowry is on the outside. He's trying to set up his buddy to come around. Here's Lowry. He's going to go out and knock off that tackle to allow Preston Smith to come looping around. But then he had to clear shot to the quarterback because he did such a good job on his job. Converted the last third and ten. What happens here? Garoppolo firing and it's going to be hauled in. What a catch at the 25 by Samuel. Covered by Alexander. He had him blanketed. Made the grab. All that rebound position was all that was. And for Garoppolo, he was getting drilled and barely got anything on the throw. And Debo just, I don't know how he caught mm. that ball. I have no idea. Fifth catch of the night from him. First down from the 24. Garoppolo fires to the outside. That's caught. And Kittle is trying to get out of bounds. It barely matters. He was, they've got a three timeouts. Yeah. It, it Didn't get a, out of bounds. He's not out of bounds, but the clock will run down. They still have the three timeouts. And they want to go back to the huddle. They no want question. this clock running right now. Mm -hmm. You do not want to stop it. Don't Plenty have to. Plenty of timeouts. All three timeouts. You want to milk this thing down. You have to assume you're going to score a touchdown. Don't give the other guy the ball at the end. At the 12. Garoppolo over the middle. That's caught. Use check. Can he get in? Yes, he can. Touchdown, San Francisco. Two minute drive, 75 yards, all passes. Eight plays. The George Kittle effect. Use check's going to come out here. Man to man coverage is going to be on him. But his defender tried to check Kittle on the outside to give him a little bump. And that allowed just enough room for Kyle Use check. What a drive by Jimmy Garoppolo. Robbie Gold for the lead. 
Yes, sir. 28-27 San Francisco with 37 seconds for that man without a timeout to try to get him into field goal range. Take a look. Here's Kittle. Here's the man coverage guy right here. He's going to try and get a little shot on Kittle because you assume that's the target. But no, it's the fullback. The fullback with the game on the line. Kyle Juszczyk with what they hope is the game winner. Look at Garoppolo. Yeah. If anybody deserves to celebrate a little bit, that guy certainly does. Yeah, he's he, been through a lot. He handled it all with extreme class. They kept him abreast of it, though. That was one thing that was different than Green Bay. You know, Rodgers was so flipped off because they didn't know Jordan Love was going to be the guy in the draft that night. But they told Jimmy, hey, listen, here's what we're doing. We're trading up for number three. Everybody thought it would be Mac Jones who winds up in New England. Instead, it's it's Lance, and now we'll see what Rodgers has up his sleeve. And don't forget now that all they need is a field goal, and their field goal kicker, Mason Crosby, has been red hot. Well, we saw a game end on a 66-yarder today by Justin Tucker. So Rodgers will start from the 25-yard line. Crosby keeps warm. Crowd keeping warm. No crowds in here for a long time. Now a sack with just about in this game. If there was ever a time for the 49ers to get one, this would be it. They sent four. Seven back. Rodgers fires over the middle. Court Adams. Adams will try to get out of bounds. He's at the 49 yard line. He stopped there. Rodgers will come up and spike it. 25 yards to Devante. Now down to 20 seconds. Meanwhile, for Adams tonight, 11 catches for 115. Mm. You have to know in this situation that they're going to drive you deep and somebody's going to come across. So those linebackers have to get deep, deep, deep. And that time, Fred Warner just not deep enough. Went over his hand by a foot. Five wide from the 50. Rogers throws incomplete. Tended there for Adams. He was in a blanket of defenders. That took four seconds, 16 ticks left. Yeah, now you've got the issue. If you complete one in the middle of the field, <laughs> yeah. you have to have that field goal team ready to come sprinting on there. Absolutely. You got a third and 10 here. Don't forget you get the spike. That created second down. Now it's third, third and 10. Crowd roaring. Rodgers fires caught. Now you got to go. At 32, he gives himself up. Make That's a first it. down. Can he spike it here? Can they get lined up? They do. And Mason Crosby will try to win the game. Wow. So 32, you're talking about a 50 yard field goal. They played it soft again. They didn't have anybody drop underneath Devontae Adams, where everybody in the house knew where that ball was going to go. The safeties were deep, and nobody was there at that intermediate level. Nobody. Counting postseason, Crosby has made his last 25 attempts. 51 yards. Timeout, San Francisco. Michelle. Yeah, I spoke with Mason Crosby before the game, guys. His pregame long in this direction was 53 yards. Our SNF Kicks technology said it would have been good from 61. He said 56 was his range. He watched Justin Tucker today, too, in awe and said, there's no way I can do that, but put me in the position to win the game. I want to be there. And he is right now 54 yards and 38 yards. His two makes tonight. Rear long 58. He's 
certainly capable here and one of the most respected members of this team and that is not always said about a kick. Mm -mm. The work is to hold it. Crosby to try to win it. And the kick is good to win the game. <laughs> The 49ers couldn't take enough time off the clock at the end. All Aaron needed was 37 seconds. You know, Al, I was thinking when Juszczyk was down there,